Now, the Jadapur University, lately branded anti-national by the BJP, a charge furiously rejected by students, will now work with India's top agency for defense technology research. The center, named after scientist Jagdish Chandra Bose, will come up at the very spot on the campus where India's first still camera factory once stood. The two are not strangers. Jadapur University and DRDO, or Defense Research and Development Organization. But they have just drawn closer to collaborate in robotic and other futuristic defense technologies for self-reliance and strategic use. Sarkas missile, as well as a Brahmos missile, which are all tactical, uh, not strategic. We have offered that it can be exported. Uh, it is not from the revenue point. It is more from the point of view of trying to give it to your closer, uh, uh, you know, neighboring countries and thereby relate them with you or the friendship you can generate. And obviously the, re the revenue also comes. For Jadapur University, a shot in the arm, a feather in the cap. At a time when UGC and central government gives JNU and other universities 300 crores for a five-year term period, Jadapur University gets a pittance 32 crores. We have the problem of space. We have the problem of other infrastructure. But in spite of constraints, we have proved our worth. Why? Because in terms of input-output ratio, we have excelled. We have far outshone other universities. 100 crore rupees has already been sanctioned for the Jagdish Bose Center. Its output could take India closer to the goal of making India. In Kolkata with Bishwajit Das, Saurabh Gupta, NDTV.